Princess Diana, who was the first wife of Prince Charles, met Michael Jackson at Wembley Arena in 1988 during his bad tour. During an exchange before his performance, the King of Pop made a £300,000 donation to the Prince of Wales charity, the Prince's Trust. However, it was just the start of a lifetime friendship in which the thriller singer fell in love, according to a close source. Matt Fids helped run security for Mr. Jackson for more than 10 years and revealed how the princess's death had haunted him. Dotty told Daily Star Online in 2017, he felt she was the only person in the world who could understand his life in terms of not being able to go anywhere and the media stories that got out of hand. The intrusion into the private life, having no privacy whatsoever Dotty felt an immediate bond with her as soon as they met. They were both very shy individuals and he loved her, he wanted to marry her truth be told. Michael told me he loved her and he was in love with her and he wanted to marry her. He told me she was his ideal wife. Mr. Fids went on to detail how the pop star felt a connection with the People's Princess and was absolutely devastated over the news of her death. He added, they both had this tremendous amount of pain they suffered due to the role they were in. He said, he was completely devastated when she died, Michael would always talk about her, and he learned a lot from her death. Mr. Fids added that they would talk all hours of the night and their one connection was the phone between Neverland and Kensington Palace. Her death also inspired Mr. Jackson to up his security, fearing he would be the next one to go. The King of Pop also passed away at an early age too. Dot the singer was just 50 when he suffered a cardiac arrest at his home in Holmey Hills, Los Angeles. Dottie has failed to stay out of headlines since, as claims over alleged sexual abuse do not go away. Dot next week, controversial documentary Leaving Neverland will air on Channel 4. The two part series focuses on alleged sexual abuse by Mr. Jackson with two men, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, will hit screens on Wednesday, March 6, and Thursday, March 7. The documentary has been met with fury by the Michael Jackson estate who have sued HBO, the original producers, for pounds 85 million. They claim it is an outrageous and pathetic attempt to exploit and cash in, something Janet Jackson has previously backed. Like Mr. Jackson, Princess Diana is still at the center of worldwide attention. This weekend, a highly controversial musical titled Diana is being performed in La Jolla Playhouse in San Diego, California. It features scenes where James Hewitt strokes his bare chest and caresses Princess Diana in bed. Dot Prince Charles is also seen undoing Camilla Parker Bowles's purple dressing gown. Royal commentators have slammed the musical, with Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, branding it tasteless 